that looks really nice. If you happen to be holding some sort of event, a concert, or some sort of presentation on a stage and want to be able to stream it to the masses around the world via the World Wide Web, you definitely need a good quality camera that can get the job done. But for something like that, you don't want an ordinary camera that's just going to be stationary, facing forward, getting the whole stage at every single moment. But you want to have a PTZ camera. And if you're not familiar with those, a PTZ camera stands for pan, tilt, and zoom. Because what you're basically going to do is set up the camera in a stationary position but you're able to remotely control it whether you have an interface or with the remote control included with said camera and be able to pan up and down left and right zoom in tilt it around and do all that good stuff so you can follow along with whoever's on the stage and make it look a lot better and this is all especially helpful when you have a good optical zoom so right here in front of me today we have the Rockware RC20 PTZ camera with 10 times optical zoom as well as a 16 times digital zoom in case you want to get even closer. Now although this is a more advanced version of a webcam being that it is a PTZ camera, it can be used as a standard webcam with any of your standard webcam and video streaming apps, whether it's Skype, YouTube, Zoom, you name it, you can use this. We are looking at a 2K resolution which is going to get you a little bit higher quality compared to a full HD 1080p image. We have autofocus as well so you can get a nice clear image no matter what the circumstances are. It features low light and white balance correction so you can adjust the settings to your liking depending on the scene that you happen to be shooting in so you can get a very nice image for streaming online. A camera like this is going to be especially helpful for somebody who's running a church and wants to broadcast their sermon online. Inside the box we have a user manual, a lengthy and thick USB cable, a power brick and cable and this is actually very cool because as you can see there's no prongs built in here but it actually does come with different prongs for different countries so you can actually take this with you around the world no matter where you go and always be ready to shoot no matter where you are because we have the US plug I think it's the United Kingdom plug and these other plugs. I'm not really too familiar on all these different plugs, but we do have different options, which is very nice to see. For me, I'm just gonna be using the standard US plug, and as you can see, it's gonna be very easy to put on here. Just lock it into place like so, and it's ready to go. Just press this little button here, twist it off, and pull it off if you wanna switch it to a different country. So very easy and straightforward. We also do have an infrared remote control, which is gonna be a must have if you don't have a standard interface already ready to go, so you can control all the different functions of the camera whether you want to pan tilt or zoom it does require two AA batteries that aren't included and then finally we do also have the camera itself well packed inside of this foam and this camera does have some good weight to it feels very solid and wow okay it looks very nice this is a this is looking like a good camera wow look at that you can tilt you can pan and you can zoom over here on the back, we do have the USB 2.0 port that uses the included cable, as well as an RS-232 port in case you happen to be using that output. Right next to that, we do have the DC 12 volt power port for the included power cable with the different adapters depending on your country. Over here on the front, we do have a bunch of indicators, including a standby light, as well as a power light and the Rockware branding. And right here on the front is also the infrared sensor, so you can use the infrared remote control to control the camera. Down here on the bottom, we do have some rubber feet that do a good job gripping to a surface, so that's very good to see, as well as a quarter thread mount right here in the middle in case you want to mount this to a tripod so you can keep things nice and steady. Now taking a look at the top, not much to see other than this big old camera with this very nice lens. Look at that, it looks very good. Whole thing is matte black and does look very good and feels very solid and high quality. It's probably not a good idea to be moving this like this because it is on the motors and we don't want to stress anything, but I can't help myself. Feels nice. So now that we got all that out of the way, I'm going to get this camera connected to my MacBook Pro with a USB connection. And as you can see, we do have power running from the USB connection, so you don't have to use the external power brick unless you happen to be using a different function. So that's good to see that it's just getting everything from one cable. All right, so now that we got this thing connected, let's put it to a little bit of a test, shall we? As you can see, this is right when we plugged it in. It was plug and play, and everything was easy. The remote control works very nicely. Everything's nice and smooth. Okay, looking good. Now, as you can see right now, the white balance and the colors are all off and look terrible, although, 
as you can see, we do have autofocus functioning, but because all the settings are a little bit off, we're gonna actually use the remote control to adjust everything to our liking. So we're gonna press on menu, and as you can see, it pops up on here just like if you were using a menu on a TV. Although this is gonna be recorded on your video as well, so just keep that in mind. First thing we're gonna take a look at is exposure. As you can see, we are in auto mode right now, and you can adjust all these different settings, backlight on and off. If you turn it on, as you can see, things got a bit brighter. You can turn your anti-flicker, we have it on 60 hertz. Meter is set to average. Let's see, let's leave it on smart. Exposure compensation mode. We're gonna switch mode over to manual and adjust the shutter, the gain, and the DRC. Wow, too dark. Let's go up a little bit. Okay, we gain. Bring it up a little bit. Now as you can see now, we're getting a lot better of an image with some manual adjustments depending on your scenery. Next we can go to color. We have white balance set to auto. We have indoor, outdoor, one push, manual. Let's see, we can adjust the colors. We have bar mode and back to auto. I'm just gonna leave it on auto for now to keep things nice and simple. Image, we can adjust the image as well, luminance. Contrast, sharpness, we can flip the image horizontally as well as vertically. This is going to be especially helpful if you have your camera mounted upside down on a roof. We have black and white mode also, that's pretty cool. We have gamma, you can adjust that. Okay, I like, hmm. Maybe like that, that looks pretty good. Style default, normal, clarity, soft. Hmm. Default. I'm thinking normal actually looks pretty normal. I'm gonna leave it on that. We have PTZ settings here. So we have speed by zoom on and off. We can set our autofocus zone to the center, to the bottom, to the top. We can set autofocus sensing to high, low, or normal. Just leave it on high. Left and right setting, reverse or standard. I'm gonna leave it on standard. Display info on, preset speed 18. Noise reduction, level two or four. We have setup mode, language, as well as on-screen display flipping. So we have English, Chinese, Russian, and English. Okay, we'll just leave it on English. Communication setup. So you can actually set this up if you're communicating with another device to control the camera. So now that we went through all the different settings, I feel like I have it set pretty good. I think I look pretty nice on here. Obviously, if you don't like it, you can adjust it to your liking because it's up to you depending on how you want it to look, depending on the lights you have, depending on your setup, all that jazz. But we're gonna just leave it at this right now because I think I look pretty good. So with that being said, we do have a few different functions on the remote control, such as zoom, but we not only have zoom, we have zoom fast and zoom slow. So right here, we're completely zoomed out and I'm gonna zoom in slowly, just holding it down. And as you can see, it is zooming in, 10X optical zoom. And let's get it focused on me. Oh wow, there we go, there we go. Mm -hmm. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Can we go closer? Remember we have 10X optical, 16 digital, oh wow. Oh, I gotta come down a little bit. Oh yeah, I don't have to come down because I can pan the camera up. There we go. Mm -hmm. Zoom in some more. Wow, we are, wow, we're really close. Okay, let's pan it around. There we go, look at that. Very cool, get it to focus, looks focused. Look at my eye, look at my eye. Hey, how's it going? Uh -huh. Then we can zoom back out slowly as well. Yep, there we go, it's going, it's going. I can see the lens moving as it's doing it. <laughs> wow, this is very cool. Okay, there we go, we are completely zoomed out now, and we can zoom in fast as well, just like this. Look at that, it's going fast. Just gonna have to just focus again. Oh, there we go, oh wow, look at that. That's That looks really nice, look at that quality. That looks like it's definitely in focus, and it's right on my eyes. It's creepy, it's looking into my eyes, it's looking into my soul. Oh. <laughs> wow. And then we can zoom out quickly as well. As you can see, it is zooming out much faster than the slow option. Very good, and we are in focus again. Not gonna lie, that zoom is extremely impressive, especially how sharp it is, although it's expected because, remember, it is an optical zoom, so it's actually zooming in the lens instead of digitally converting it, and that's gonna look blurry. Wow, 
very impressive. So this is definitely going to be good for using with some sort of presentation, whether it be church, a concert, or any sort of seminar that you happen to be having on a stage and want to be able to zoom in on the action while having the camera far away. Now, one thing about this, which is obviously expected since you're going to generally have this set up far away, unless you're using it like I am right now as a standard webcam, is there's no built-in microphone on the camera but that's not a bad thing because like I said, if it's far away, you're not gonna be able to use that microphone anyways. And you're of course gonna be using an external audio source like I'm using right now. So that's very good, but just keep that in mind. If you wanna use it for a webcam like this, you will need to have your own microphone. But with all that being said, although we can pan, tilt and zoom around, we will head outside real quick to put this to a test in a bit of a bigger environment instead of just having it on this table, have it zoom in on me from far away and see how well it actually works. And we will be outside in the sun, so we'll see how that looks. You'll definitely probably have to adjust the settings once again, but we'll see what happens and see if this thing is good when you're actually trying to zoom in far away, because right now we're really close. So we'll see how far we can go when we're far away. So just like that, we're outside right now putting this Rockware PTZ camera to the ultimate test. We have some very intense sunlight coming onto my face right now. This is very bright and pretty unideal conditions, but we're gonna put it to the test because not only do we have a 10 times zoom with optical lenses, but we also have a 16 times digital zoom. So you can zoom out, zoom in, do whatever you need to do. And as you can see, I'm obviously using an external microphone because at this distance, even if this camera did have a built-in microphone, you wouldn't be able to hear me because I'm way too far. So an external microphone is a must to be set up in your equipment in order to get the best audio quality. All in all, this camera is definitely a must if you do any sort of presentations, whether it be church, a concert, some sort of seminar. All right, y'all, we are back. And let me get this on me real quick, like so. Maybe zoom in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, pan up a little bit. Zoom out a little bit, something like this. Looks pretty good. So heading outside, this was actually a very good camera. It zoomed in closely, 10 times X is very good to getting a nice tight shot when you're far away on a stage and wanna be able to have a camera out of the way but still be able to get a nice close shot. The video quality does look good at 1080p full HD and the zoom, I mean seriously, the zoom is the main selling point of a PTZ camera. If you don't have good zoom with autofocus, it's not gonna be doing you any favors when you're trying to zoom in far away. This one actually does do a great job at both of those. Autofocus, it's not extremely fast, but it does get the job done. And once you're focused, it's pretty much locked on. And as you saw when it was zoomed in close on my eyes, come on, you were zoomed in close on my eyes and it focused and it looked very nice. Very impressive with that. And the video quality overall with this camera is very good. Of course, you do have to adjust the settings depending on your environment to get the best experience possible. And I think I did a pretty good job at doing that on myself. Real quick, it only took a couple of minutes. Not really a big deal whatsoever but it's nice that you have all the different customizations so you can get the camera to look as good as possible. From my experience, I feel like a lot of people actually use these for churches so they can stream their sermon over the internet to people who couldn't make it in person. And that's a very good way to use this camera to its full capabilities because not only can you zoom in close to get very close to whoever's speaking, but you can also zoom out and get the entire room as well. And that is definitely a must in a situation like that.